together again, dear ones. There are many. Tending to all of you, this medium has been feeling them. Some of you have the sight. Take a look around, above you and around you. With your eyes closed, of course. We are amping up the energy. So settle into your bodies. Breathe. Intend that anything that doesn't serve you goes down that grounding cord. Gently. Easily. And breathe. This medium's hands are getting quite warm. She was thinking about Ignatius and then realized next week is his real anniversary on Wednesday. Hmm. So stay tuned for that one. But he is here. She was sensing. Feel his energy. He may not talk yet, but he is here. Continue to breathe in the golden light from your creator and let it bathe over you. You may feel warmth. He can be a little intense, as you know. For those of you that have felt his energy before, but down at the Casa, they would normally celebrate this Friday. So the medium was thinking about him. He's feeling his presence. He's part of the crew. Mm-hmm. And he has spoken a little before. And so we're going to open up some of the heart space tonight. First, you're getting a dose of these higher vibrations to assist you all with all the changes that are happening that you were discussing earlier. So many vibratory changes in your physical forms, many on your world are having some challenges dealing with them. And some of you may be as well, depending on how much old energies need to be released. For as you know, the more old energies you release, the lighter you become, the more light you can carry. And the easier it becomes to do the walk that you are on. Didn't say it wouldn't be with challenges. Just said it's easier when you're in the light and in the higher vibrations. Because you stay in alignment this way. And so as the cosmic energies and the earth energies and all the different vibrational changes are happening, affecting your physical form, affecting you on all levels, but usually those on your world don't really understand the higher levels. They just know whether they're in bed feeling like they have what you call the flu symptoms or headaches or just tired. And they don't know why. And if they go to the doctor, they can't find anything wrong. It's because there's nothing wrong. It's just their body shutting them down to allow them time to integrate and process Just like when you do actually have one of your colds or something like that, you sleep a lot because your body needs to rest. It is when you sleep at night that your body restores itself, dear ones, on the physical plane because your spirit doesn't need to rest. It can go about the universe and go play or go to class, fly around, do whatever. But your body must rest. It is a denser vibration. And when you sleep, it allows us, your guides and the team, to work with you. And it makes it a lot easier for us to work with you and balance you out. If you 
we shall say, enter into that space before sleep, focused on higher vibratory thoughts that we have mentioned, the gratitude, the appreciation. Because if you come into your slumber with all the woes and worries and hmm, issues you're having in your life, in your day, and your mind's going crazy, well, first of all, you have trouble sleeping because your mind doesn't quiet down. And then you wonder why you wake up feeling irritated and thinking about the same thing that you were thinking about before you fell asleep. Hmm? Happens to you all, yes? That is why if you want to wake up peaceful and feeling appreciation and gratitude. You must focus on those feelings and those kind of thoughts right before you fall asleep and close your eyes or perhaps close your eyes and focus on those and allow yourself to fall asleep with those thoughts in your consciousness. It helps if you can clear as much of the lower vibrational energies before you sleep, even if you know you have to do a five minute meditation to clear things out down that grounding cord, visualize, do whatever you need to. But that will assist you with all of the changes that are coming, dear ones, on your world and with the vibrations. You must stay in alignment. Work on that. One little piece at a time. One day, one evening at a time. It's creating a new habit. And just like your old habits, it took you a while to develop them. Like riding your bike, you had to practice. It was awkward at first, and then it became easy. You don't have to think about it, or driving a car, or any other sort of mm, skill set that you had to learn. It is the same with this, because you have to learn to change your focused attention. So pay attention to whatever you're speaking, watching, listening to, whatever, reading before you go to sleep. Even this medium, she's, she found it interesting. She's starting to watch a, an interesting series on their movies. And it's a romance, but it's also historical. Not so gory. It does have some thing, but it, she can't watch war movies. Or violence. And if anything like that comes up, she mutes it. And lets it pass, closes her eyes, and just kind of peeks every once in a while to see when it's done. But she doesn't want to listen to it. So if something like that happens with what you're watching, do the same thing. So that those vibrations don't affect you. You don't see or hear it. Fast forward through that part. But if you're reading a book or anything like that, those sort of thoughts are in your consciousness just before bed. So the thoughts, the focus, everything... You wonder why you think certain things. It's because that's where you're focused on. So just make conscious choices. And if you're, we've said this before, if you're watching something, reading something, listening to something, and you don't feel good, you automatically, with your music, you change the channel if you don't like a song on your radio. Do the same with changing the, the channel on the, the, the movie box, the... Or anything you're doing. And if you can change the channel just that fast with your radios in your cars, ask yourself, hmm, that's a very quick decision. What is holding you back from making such a quick acknowledgement of change when you feel bad during your day? Because it is the same. It is just an awareness. The only difference here is that the song is coming from outside of you. And so it's easier for you to perceive something you don't like. If it's coming from outside of you, perhaps. However, we say it's actually easier to perceive when you're out of alignment by feeling bad because your body tells you every ounce of your being gets uncomfortable when you're focused on something that you don't like, you don't enjoy. Some of you were talking about food you don't like earlier. You knew instantly. 
what you don't like, so you don't eat it. But you had to become aware of that to make that choice. And even now, when you make these conscious choices, hmm, this medium's thinking, when you go to a party or you go mm, to some gathering, they have food that tempts you. For those of you that have the, uh, the sugar, and some people, it's like this medium loves the dark chocolate. But she would also go for the sugar if it was there. That's why she doesn't bring it in as much as she used to. But once in a while, she still does have some fun and enjoys it in small portions. But the thing is, it's a new thought pattern of awareness. And then it's because you know you really don't want it. It's the same experience as anything else in your day, dear ones. You just haven't yet become aware of what you don't want on the same level. Does this make sense to you? When it comes to, say, music or food or things like that, it's a little more obvious because it's outside. But when you feel uncomfortable in your bodies, frustrated, annoyed, anxious, why do you allow it to persist? It is simply a habit. The instant you feel these emotions, these feelings, because even your body feels discomfort, not pain. We are saying uncomfortable. You you literally don't feel. Mm, it's a uh, not the uh, this medium is trying to think of find the words. You feel it in your belly, yes. When something doesn't sit right, as you say with you, yes. Does this make sense? So when something doesn't sit right with you and you're thinking about it and you're thinking about it and you're not feeling good and it's not, as you say, sitting right with you, why do you keep thinking about it? Why do you keep thinking that you have to go somewhere or do something or whatever it is? Stop thinking about it. And that unsettling feeling will go away. You flick the switch, you change the channel. The key here is to find something that you can truly switch your focused attention to so that you don't get hooked back into whatever it was that made you feel unsettled. That is the key. That is the work that each of you and each on your world have to do. Because we can't program your minds for you. You have done that on your own. Your brains have certain, as we've said, neural pathway patterns because of just thinking the same thing over and over again. And if you're feeling unsettled in your belly, pay attention. Don't rationalize and analyze it because it serves you no good. It just gives you more energy. Or Remember, what you focus on, you get more of. So if you keep focusing on whatever it is that's making you feel unsettled, you're making that even more unpleasant, you're making it, mm, let's just say it has more magnetic pull. And so the more you focus on something, and, and all of you understand this, eventually when you try to change your thoughts until you have something that really, really can get your attention to focus like a laser, don't you have the tendency to fall back into old patterns? That is why. You must find something strong enough. It can be a little bit of willpower, as you say, but until you identify the pattern and you allow your being, your higher self, your conscious awareness to override this habit that is within your mind, your brain, really, because it is, it is a chemical reaction. It is an addiction. Think of it that way. You all understand addictions on a variety of levels, but you are just addicted to thinking the same old patterns. So that puts it in a whole different perspective. If you can think of it as an addiction to something that doesn't serve you, wouldn't you start doing whatever it could to unravel that? 
because you know what addictions do. They do not serve. They keep you in lower vibrations. And they keep you in a state of illusionary powerlessness. Because you are always powerful. Because you are always divine beings. It is the perception within your mind that you are powerless. And that something external to you is more powerful than you. But you created the illusion of that perception simply by habit. Does this make sense? So if you can think of your, your lives, let's do a little exercise. Imagine as you allow yourself to be filled with the golden light for wisdom, divine wisdom, because we're going to, we're going to need the wisdom. Hmm? To have some more extra heightened awareness. Mm -hmm. But this is a game. Smile, laugh, no serious. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do? So fun. Think of, approach this from a space of childish, child, mm, this medium is tongue tied. Childlike wonder. Okay, kindergarten. You're going back to kindergarten and you're playing. So, each of you, imagine a whiteboard or a chalkboard or something in front of you. And look at all the areas of your life and ask your guides and spirit to put pictures or words, whatever works for you, because some of you, each of you has your own way of perception, your intuition, where there are areas that are these mental patterns that you could consider addictions that don't serve you that keep you in lower vibrations and see what comes up on your board on your you could use a movie screen too and just observe from a space of non-judgment as though looking at it from above from a space of curiosity for you are in kindergarten. For probably most of these patterns were created when you were a child. For that is when you learn the majority of your belief patterns. And so now we're going back to this childlike wonder of kindergarten and amusement to decipher where those came from. And if you have, this medium is kind of getting the idea, if you have a, a picture or a piece of paper, she was just getting the impression of shredding, tearing apart the paper that has the origin, the seed that was planted for this mental, lower vibrational, addictive habit. Make sense? See what seeds develop, or we should say more precisely, are unveiled, yes, so that you can see them, perceive them, know them, and from a space of non-judgment, you are not that child anymore. You are seeing it and observing it from a space of amusement as though in kindergarten simply to make this less serious because it's a game this is we're moving energy and so if you need to yawn don't worry about it allow yourselves to yawn or whatever it is to release but keep your eyes closed for there are others tending to you while we do this. But you can shred a paper, you can burn something, however you wish, when you see and truly comprehend at a level of consciousness that you may not have understood and comprehended before. Let it sink in. 
into your mind so that you have this conscious awareness and then pull out that seed that was planted that then spread like weeds throughout your consciousness you can turn it over to spirit you can throw it in a fire do whatever you wish to destroy it for it serves you not and you are now consciously choosing to release it you can put it in a violet fire and have all the negative energy drain out of it and transmute it however you wish we take a few moments while we tend to all of you to go through this little exercise of awareness and releasing the origin of these old mental habits that keep you in this addictive lower vibrational pattern allow yourselves to really just relax physically feel your heart space filled with the silver ray of compassion bathe yourself in compassion dear ones while you do this you're receiving wisdom and compassion to raise your awareness to a higher level of consciousness perceiving things from a higher self vantage point if you might consider it that and call in your higher self the archangel gabriel for clarity of communication between your mind and your higher self to understand what is unfolding before you you will allow a few more moments for this work medium is sensing the stadium above the group many also even though they don't have physical forms are learning from observing for they may choose to return to the physical but they are also learning and growing in spirit or you never get it done you are always evolving on all levels even beyond this physical form this physical form is the most challenging yes but you chose to have these experiences and when you realize that you have the power to change your focused attention in the blink of an eye just like you switch the channel on your radio that's all it takes you change the channel you change the focus and you stay there and you don't look back at what you don't want so as you perceive whatever it is that is being released we ask you to just allow the energies to unfold in the days and weeks to come without we will say analyzing and trying to remember exactly what it was that was unfolding with the release work does this make sense for we don't want you to go backwards and try to remember whatever it was once it is released it is gone out with the trash as you say mm -hmm. and now that you have done the release work bathe yourselves in the violet to transmute any other lower vibrational energies that were loosened in this process 
and now fill yourself with the green for healing. For there were, you could call them voids in your space, in your energy from the releasing that the green is filling. And see yourselves bathed in this green ray of healing. And now allow yourselves to be filled with the pink for unconditional love for yourself in gratitude for your courage to do this work. For it takes courage to walk this path. It is not for the faint of heart as you say. For walking the path in spirit and discovering your truth is not for the faint of heart. It takes courage, patience, and determination, and persistence. So be patient with yourselves. Understand that the unfoldment will occur in divine timing. For each of you, in whatever timing that is, for each individual has their own path and their own mm, time of releasing on all levels, integrating, processing, allowing. With ease and grace, always intend that the releasing of old energies is with ease and grace. No need to have the bumps in the road that you don't need to do. Be gentle with yourselves. Take a deep breath and settle once more into the space, into your bodies for this night. So that concludes the meditation and instruction portion.